hi oh my god i'm so excited to be back this is miss b finance one-on-one -on -one. i've been away on national campaign for financial literacy i love educating some of you guys and hey call me but today i'm gonna talk about a topic that most of us probably don't understand taxes why do we need to talk about taxes it's because you know if you look up the wealth formula if you didn't see it i'll add you to look into my page betty chap on facebook and you'll see the wealth formula i posted it yesterday the wealth formula is that you need money that grows with the time in the long long enough time at a good interest rate that will outplace inflation and taxes then you will have built wealth okay uh, so why the taxes and inflation part of the wealth formula are very important because you can't control those two you can control the money you put into your wealth you can control the time you start putting the money you can control the interest rate you're gonna get on your money but you can never control the inflation or the taxes so I'm gonna focus on the taxes the reason why I'm doing this is because when you think about taxes when you make money they tax you when you spend they tax you when you save they tax you in fact uncle sam love you even more when you die you know in fact benjamin franklin always said that two things certain in life taxes and death so if uh if you are thinking about building wealth in the formula you will want to consider taxes this is how effective it is i never pay attention to it but i want to give you guys an example maybe this today will help you pay more attention to taxes for example if you are a registered nurse i uh, averagely what do we make about five thousand dollars a month which is sixty thousand dollars a year so if you're making presumably sixty thousand dollars a year and right now as it is after 2013 the u.s federal income tax is 39.6 which is about 40 percent that mean twenty four thousand dollars of this money of the sixty thousand goes to uncle sam you are only bringing home about thirty six thousand dollars now to some of you you are probably wondering what does she mean twenty four thousand dollars is going to uncle sam big deal well, it wasn't a big deal to me, and I'm going to thank God for Washeke for bringing this to my attention. What $24,000 mean is this. January, gone. February, gone. March, gone to Uncle Sam. April, Uncle Sam. May, Uncle Sam. Five months out of the year, we are serving uncle sam that's why we need to pay attention to it now we may not know what to do to minimize on the spending when it taxes or what to do when we make money when it taxes or but there's some ways you can do and, and this a video i did on that you can look it up in my page but i want to talk about the saving part of it you gotta pay attention to where you put your money and there's some vehicles to help you out page page 17 of this book if you don't have it i'll mail it to you okay if you are in kenya attend centonomy classes washeke will help you with that even if you are in diaspora i say this all the time do not go home and start investing without attending a financial class centonomy look them up on on Facebook, look them up on YouTube, look at my girl Washeke Dauti, she's very awesome. But these are some of the places that you can effectively take advantage, they're called tax advantage vehicles. These are your Roth IRA, your 529 savings account, your health savings account, and you know my favorite, life insurance savings account, long-term care savings account. When you put your money in these vehicles, now you get to have some tax break if you use them effectively. Now, if you put your money on tax later, which are your 401k, IRA, annuities, and your pension, 
you're gonna have to give uncle some something later the thing is we do not know what taxes is gonna be later i don't know nobody can guarantee you in fact in history in 1941 during the great depression the taxes were up to 70 that is the federal income tax oh my god i'm not even touching on the state tax that's why i tell people you will not find me in california those people have another 12 percent of the state tax so Californians are probably paying about 52,000, 52% of their income goes to taxes, which means, oh, they half of the year is just going towards taxes. Not even half, more than half of the year, literally. So, you know, we've got to pay attention to taxes. But not only that, we've got to pay attention to inflation. And that's going to be my next topic. This is Miss B Finance one on one. Check me out on Facebook, Betia Chapa, YouTube, Beatrice Otieno, and inbox me with all your questions. Let me help you avoid some of these taxes for your saving part. Okay? Thank you, guys, and see you at the top. Bye.